Hickok 45 here with a Maverick 88 by request. <laughs> We've done one video with this thing, uh, not this one, uh, years ago, but I tell you, this Maverick uh, 88 seems to be a very popular shotgun with you all. There were a lot of requests to, to revisit it, to shoot it again, or to compare it, and, and uh, you know, just uh, periodically. And so, you know what, I checked with Buds and they had one, and I just borrowed it, ordered it up to, to shoot. Uh, do a chapter two and uh, just shoot one some more. Been doing some uh, shotguns lately, like the Escort and others. That uh, the uh, what's wrong is this recently a Turkish made one. There, yeah, the Winchester. Uh, and uh, you know, just shotguns are fun. You know, I like them. I have a lot of shotguns in this configuration, and I shoot them a lot. I trim trees with them. I just enjoy them. Slugs, birdshot, whatever. Uh, home defense. You know uh applications and uh and i know a lot of you all are very very fond of shotguns and and you know they're one of the uh most economical ways to provide yourself with a lot of protection put it that way you know uh for under 200 dollars even you know that escort is like 140 Isn't that crazy uh the thing about this firearm and the Mossbergs is, they just are really nice shotguns. And uh, this one is really a low price one as well. It's about $100 more than the Escort, I guess. Of, uh, I think they're around 240 now, something like that, depending on where you get it and if they're on sale, all that sort of thing. But the Maverick 88, uh, you know, around 240 uh, About half what a Mossberg 500, brand new Mossberg 500 would, would sell for. And I, I'm not sure I understand uh, really clearly the history of this exactly. I think this company started, you know, in Eagle Pass, you know, Texas, making these shotguns, and then uh, Mossberg, I think, bought them. I don't believe it was a situation with Mossberg. Well, let's start or let's have a low-end subsidiary. Let's let's create a company to make something like. I think they were making these, and uh, and then Mossberg bought them. But so anyway, they're part of Mossberg. However, that happened, and they're in Eagle Pass, Texas, Maverick County, as I understand. And they started making these in 88, 1988. So, hence 88 and Maverick. So, now, I was thinking I got this out on a Sunday morning video a few weeks ago, right after I got it, and I, I just knew I did, you know, but I didn't. <laughs> I got to looking at it here, and, uh, and I thought, well, do I need, do I get it good and clean when I, well, wait a minute. There's no residue or anything in that thing at all. I guess I didn't. Well, I know I did not, because it's just new out of the box still. I guess I was thinking of my other 590, the 18 and a half inch one I picked up and brought it out one Sunday morning. So, so since this has not been fired, I thought, well, let's just do the first shots in the video. And that's, that's what I'll do. Uh, we've done that occasionally. I do that on Sunday mornings quite often, don't I? Some firearm, just test it, or, or just shoot it for the first time. So it's not even been loaded. I just wanted you to get a good look at it. It's got a pretty nice butt pad, doesn't it? And uh, before I put the extender on it, it makes it feel so much better to me. It does absorb some more recoil, I guess, but it uh, has a pretty nice pad. But I'm going for the length of pull as much as the, the padding, of course. All right, so Maverick 88. Uh, yeah, low-end shotgun. And, uh, you know, it's been shot a lot. I, there's not a lot of secrets about it. I think the general consensus is that it's uh, a pretty good shotgun and that people have pretty good luck with it. So let's uh, load her up some bird shot here. Got this from Federal. Appreciate Federal Premium. Supplying ammo. Great outfit, huh? As well as uh, the Sonoran Desert Institute. I became a gunsmith. No, I didn't yet. I should. But uh, yeah, check out sdi.edu, the Sonoran Desert Institute online, and you can get a lot of education from a distance. You know, they'll send you hands-on uh, supplies and everything else. So, great outfit. Uh, you learn a lot about firearms technology. There's a lot of uh, a lot of areas in the world of, of firearms where you might be interested in, in a career. You know, not just hammering on firearms, but maybe working on stocks or checkering or just in the field marketing, all sorts of uh, areas. All right, so we appreciate everybody that helps us out. And I think... I will try this out. Now it's a little different than the 500. You know, it doesn't have the uh, tank safety. It's a uh, standard up here, you know, cross bolt safety. 
Uh, it's not quite as flexible as the 500. Uh, it's a nice shotgun. I better not say anything nice about it. It might not work. But uh, not quite as uh, you know, modifiable or flexible. I think it's a little more uh, difficult to get the, the front end off. You know, I don't think you can extend the magazine as easily like you can with a Mossberg 500. And you can, I think, take the barrel from a 500 and it'll fit in this. I'm not sure this barrel will fit in a Mossberg 500 as well. Uh, I'm not sure the stocks are, there's not as much available for replacement stocks and, you know, that, that sort of thing. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it's just a nice shotgun though of its own, on its own. So let's put a round in the chamber. That worked. It seemed well lubed. In fact, there's a fair amount of oil in there. So why don't we just see if it's watermelon worthy, just to start off, you want to? So I think it's ready to go. It was ready to go. <laughs> it was ready. Let's see if it's pot smoking worthy. Seems to be. <laughs> it did a pretty good job. Let's see if it's two liter worthy. All my favorite targets in the first three shots. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Let's see if it's paper target worthy. Boom. Yeah. All right. Seems to work. Seems to work. And you know, it feels pretty good uh, in, in terms of uh, that escort that I have. That's the thing I can't get used to is that, that, uh, that, that finger, that uh, hand guard and, and it, or the pump handle. It just, this, this just feels you know, more natural to me because you need that friction going both ways. All right, so yeah, around uh, 240, I think, uh, the 88. Uh, yeah, a lot of you have them. Share your experience. Let's just go ahead and step up to some uh, buckshot. You want to do? Why not? Torture myself a little bit. Uh, make sure my shoulders in shape uh, uh, for the summer, the spring. Uh, getting into archery again a little bit. You know, trying to get my shoulder uh, in condition. Here I am trying to ruin it with a 12 gauge. Hard to beat a good old pump shotgun though. And by the way, we also. All right, I started to say like me. I don't want to lie to y'all though. Okay, so wow, I got out a bunch of these, didn't I? Let's just put one in the chamber. Let's see, uh, let's, let's put one up here, safety on, and remind ourselves how many it holds. Like I said, I haven't even shot it. I think it's, is it five or six? Five, maybe six. Two, three, y'all help me count. I'm not very good. Four. Five, once I run out of fingers. Yeah, that's what I thought. Five plus one. And I have no idea what that equals. Okay, so we got some powerful stuff here. Why did I load that? Why did I do that? Let's see how it spreads. That's buckshot. Let's go for that tombstone. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you wouldn't want to be in the path of that, Mr. Cowboy, but I'm sorry, you are. You are in the path. So is that two liter. <laughs> I'm not too worried about getting splash back on me because there's so much energy and force going that direction. Uh, could probably almost shoot a bowling pin with these things, but I'm not gonna do that. You might get some bounce back. It could, it could happen. Well, we uh, reach out on that drum over there. I think I kind of went high. I heard, I heard some of those hit. And there's two liter right here. Yeah, so it's held up so far. Okay. These come with a, uh, it has a kind of a nice blue smooth finish. It actually looks better in a lot of ways than a uh, Mossberg. But I, as I understand, you know, even at that, the, the finish isn't gonna hold up as well, of course, as a Parkerized, you know, parkerization like on the military models and uh, the Mossberg 500 even I guess and of course the A1 great finish on those so uh, you know the Mossberg company the lineup you really have a nice range of choices don't you if you like these shotguns because you got the, like at about 240 you got the Mossberg 500 I guess they're around you know, 500 or four something and uh, and you got the uh, 590 yeah, which is another little step up from that. The 590A1, which is, what, I don't know, five and a half, 540, I don't know what all the pricing is on them. 
but you can just jump up uh, to get more features, maybe a little more durability perhaps. And of course, you know about the 598-1 and the, the military tests that it was put through. And there's a lot of arguing about all that, but apparently it, it, it did win, you know, the military testing you know, for pump shotguns and withstood a lot of rounds, a lot of rounds. So, yeah, speaking of withstanding, how about some slugs? Let's uh, go across the hill. We got these fine sights on here. I'm sure I can hit anything, right? <laughs> yeah, especially the rear sight. That's the best rear sight I've seen on a shotgun. Don't you think? Well, you just sort of estimate, you know, look down that barrel, and do the best you can. And uh, hopefully you're not trying to pick off mosquitoes at 50 yards, because then you would have trouble, right? All right, let's see where the gold bead takes us. Brass bead. All right. Okay. You know what we got to try, Mr. Gong. I'll uh, exaggerate on the low side, if anything, so I know where it's going. Maybe. All right. I held on the bottom of it. <laughs> nice. Let's try Mr. Ram. Our mascot. Boom! <laughs> Our logo. <laughs> Try Mr. Buffalo. All right. He's not our logo, but we love him. We love to bang lead into him. Oh, did I not shoot this target yet? Yeah, I, no, I did. I don't know. Well, I'll just shoot through the flap. <laughs> Never let me be deterred. All right, that was five. Ah, look at that. Went through. Ah, I got buds up there. <laughs> All right. Nothing like a shotgun. I, I see why, uh, you know, one of the, the things I see the most when it's a, a comment about the Maverick. I've got to shoot more slugs. Don't mind. Uh, the Maverick 88, it is, uh, it's just people uh, uh, praising it is what it usually is. Yeah, it's not, you know, more so than people asking about it or complaining about it. It's, it's people who have them and wonder why I don't shoot one more often, you know, or own one and, you know, that kind of thing, or they're recommending one. Let's put six in. Six slugs. Yeah, really. Get that shoulder in shape. The safety on. Uh, something like a shotgun for fun or, or serious work, hunting, whatever. Some states, some areas, you know, a lot of people uh, are almost forced to hunt with a shotgun legally, or they, or they just like it. You know? and, and you know, you've, you've seen us shoot them enough out here. You know, they're they're pretty accurate, even a smooth bore like this. That's that's a very common question because the I don't even own a shotgun that's not a smooth bore, do I? No, they're all smooth bore shotgun. Every shotgun I own, I've never owned in my life a rifled shotgun. Okay, so we need an FAQ video on that one. All right, I wonder if I could hit that red plate on the left over there. Boom! You know, there's not a lot of question as to whether you hit something or not with a slug. You can kind of tell, can't you? What about the buffalo on the right? Boom, <laughs> he falls over to that. And I, I'm gonna pound the gong. What do I have, three left? I'm gonna put them all in, at the gong. Oh, I think I went high. I think I missed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got another one. <laughs> That's good. Finished with two, two hits on him. So anyway, the Maverick 88, uh, probably some things I didn't remind you about on it. Like I say, it's, it's a little more of a problem, I think, in, in taking it apart up here and replacing uh, barrels and things, uh, or putting a, I read that you can put a heat shield on it, but it's a little more problematic to get to it and take this off the rails and things. But, you know, I don't know. Not an issue for me. I don't like heat shields anyway. I'm a, always feared that it's a rusting under there, you know. 
if I were going to battle, maybe I would want a heat shield. Uh, but share what your experience is with these things. And, uh, you know, maybe you live in Eagle Pass, Texas. And maybe you work on these things, you know. You're more balanced than anybody. Uh, or you have fired one a few thousand times and uh, you've hunted with it and you've taken it into combat or whatever it might be. So in the, the great scheme of things, how do you think it ranks uh, as compared with other low-end uh, shotguns? Are you offended that I would use that phrase, that term, low-end you know, shotgun? Uh, I don't know. I like it. It feels good to me. And, uh, in terms of all the cheap shotgun, uh, excuse me, inexpensive shotguns that we've had and, and uh, did videos with, I think it's my favorite because it feels like a normal, pretty much a normal Mossberg, you know. I like Mossbergs. Anyway, uh, glad you came out tonight and I uh, hope you come back again sometime. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastall. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastall for many years it's a cleaner and a lubricant and it's non-toxic uh, it works really great and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time so go to ballastall.com talongungrips.com and also while you're out there i'm juggling all these things here also uh while you're on the internet please do check out our other social media like hickok 45 on facebook there's also hickok 45 on twitter the real Hickok 45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok 45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.